few days later, by the but I want to address the Debo Samuel and Michael Parsons exchange. Uh, Michael Parsons was talking about how the Cowboys really got spanked up again, said that um, they learn and stuff. They're going to be ready for him and they're talking trash. I'm like, you just got your behind house 42 to 10. Debo Samuel says, um, just chill because <laughs> you don't want to face us again. It could be worse next time. I'm with Debo Samuel on that. I mean, San Francisco is such a tier above Dallas. It's not even close. It's kind of like the old Larry Holmes, Morris Frazier fight. If you remember that fight in the 80s, Larry Holmes was looking over and it says, well, the name, last name says Frazier, but all due respect, you ain't your daddy Joe. And you can't be no man beat up on no boys. Cowboys was so badly beat. That Prescott is overrated. Those too many picks <clears throat> trying to make stuff happen. Mike McCarthy's in over his head, meat head. Needs to stick to one side of coaching. Just has not really got that offense going. And Rock Purdy looking like Joe Montana's 2.0. Just so smooth the way he's operating. Christian McCaffrey is my regular season MVP right now. If we were having an MVP right now, McCaffrey would be the dude. That says a lot because Debo Samuel scares folks. And um, Fred Lane, Lane over there on defense. I mean, they just was getting that Dallas. They just got it. And, if you're a Cowboys, you burn the tape. You don't say nothing. You be as humble as possible. Michael Parsons is not the second coming to Lawrence Taylor, so stop that nonsense. And Dallas defense ain't special because if they can't simplify the game, there ain't much to them. So Debo Samuel definitely got him for your counts. Please do like, subscribe, go thoughts, comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another and share the video if you like my piece.